y'all. Shigasi Paris, man. A day I'm in here. I ordered this cotton subs. It's a fabric material that you can heat press sublimation onto and put it onto a dark color shirt, light color shirt. Picked it up from Tech Box Customs. Um, we're just doing an unboxing. Check it out. We're going to do pressing on a t shirt just to see how it works out, see if it actually works. Sticks. Um, man, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, man. Seek Paris. I'll see y'all in a second. So it's cotton subs, cotton sublimation transfer material. Picked this up from uh, Tech by Customs. Let's see what it is. Hope I ain't cut nothing. An envelope. It's my invoice. It was uh thirty-three dollars and eight cents for ten cotton sub sheets. So there's the price list in there. 10 sheets, 3308, 30 sheets, 90, 96, 50 sheets for 137.81. So you're supposed to be able to sub on this and be able to sub on cotton, dark or whatever. I only ordered the 10 just to see how it's gonna work out. I'm not even sure what it is. Let's see. Exactly. Oh, okay. So it's a sublimation material, so polyester film. It's ten of those. <clears throat> so this paper says this revolutionary technology now allows printing directly unto cotton material. Great for both light and dark colors with the super soft feel to the touch. Application directions. Pre-press the garment with your professional grade heat press for five to eight seconds to eliminate wrinkles and moisture. Step two, place the cotton sub with the rough side down on top of the garment. Okay, so yes, definitely this is the rough side. So you would place that down. Step three, mirror print a design on sublimation paper. If using, step four, if using a colored shirt, make sure your design completely covers the cotton sub or goes a little outside of the material. So, no white is visible after application if using a white shirt make sure your design says inside the material to eliminate ghosting put the printed sublimation paper over the cotton sub press at 375 to 385 degrees for 60 seconds any temperature Peel is fine. If using adhesive sublimation paper, a delayed peel is best. Wait at least 24 hours before washing. Turn inside out when you laundry. 
for longer lasting best results hand wash inside out after application do not iron on top of the cotton sub direct heat will I'm sorry I ain't got my glasses on reactivate the ink if you need to press it do it inside as out as well if ironing on top of the material put parchment butcher or regular paper on top of the cotton sub and iron as needed we're gonna have to get us a test run Just want to measure this out, see how big it is. So the size is sixteen and a half by. Eleven and a half. So here we go with it. So it said the rough side down, and you can clearly, clearly feel it. What side is smooth? What side is rough? Um, So I just cut one straight down the middle just to see how it goes. I don't know how this is going to work out, but this is just a print, but it don't look right. But for the sake of practice, we're going to run with it. So it said at 385 for 60 seconds. It worked. Stretchy. Get the material. It's not too bad.
you can't really tell it's just a piece on top of it it's a cotton sub picked that up at uh, Tech by Customs yeah that's not too bad just get it down get the right print going and stuff and yeah it's gonna work it's right there man it's not too bad pulled on it stretched on it look like it's gonna stick you know we're gonna see how it do i didn't use the best print that was a print i messed up on because the one i actually printed out was too small so I just had that one a print that came out bad, but anyway, we just put it down. It actually subbed on there. The material actually heat pressed onto the shirt, so that, I got it from Tech Box Customs. Check them out. I got ten of those for thirty three dollars. Thirty. Like, comment, subscribe, man. See Paris Twelve going apparel. I'm gone.